Scribbles. All right, what's up, you guys? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm Scribbles, the artist and crocheter behind Eclectic Scribbles, and this is the Fairfax Comic Con vlog. So we just got here to the Dulles Expo Center in Fairfax, and I brought in three suitcases. These suitcases are machine here, cash register, and then one box for the back of the booth and that is it that's all i brought with me it is all about can my art stand alone this weekend so i've got a proxy karen from so endearing down at the queen city anime con in charlotte and now i am up here for tomorrow and sunday for fairfax so um, i already know that QCAC was a complete clusterfuck this morning and so the first five hours of the 10 hour day one were completely screwed for anybody in vendors hall. It wasn't even open. Um, the fire marshals shut it down. So we're not having that issue here, but it was not well organized and well planned out because a lot of vendors are really upset about purchasing $500 10 by 10 booths and getting five and a half by 10 booths, which is not the same. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get set up and I will check back with you in a bit. I'm burning up. I got my neck fan, just started it, absolutely boiling. It's like 95 degrees outside and it feels like it's like 100 out in here. So, awesome. Anyway, I'm going to get set up.
because let me take you through what I'm getting done today and I'm, I'm whooped. I am a whooped freaking dog at this point. So let's see what we've got. We got mini prints over here. Of course, super loud all of a sudden. Anyway, we got mini prints. We've got the singular bitch pig cone and I'm gonna put the signage up in the morning. We've got all of the large prints up here. Oh my God, could that be any louder? Anyway, all of the large prints up here. We've got all of the stickers over here. Sticker sheets down here. We've got our new machine right here. It's working. I'm happy. Great. There's that. We're going to have this over here. And I've got all 12 of the mythical creatures over here. Appa and Soot Sprites and everything else. I will just have to grab from the back, but it is like 98% self-serve. So the only thing that I'll need to grab out of the back will be actual, um, actual prints, the large prints. So again, I'm going to put all the signage up tomorrow. I'm whooped. I'm tired and I'm ready to go to the hotel and cool off. I'm sure so is Bubby. So I'm going to wrap this up for the night and, uh, we'll work on it in the morning before we open. All right, you guys, we had a slight disaster this morning. Oh my God, I came in and it turns out we are right underneath this freaking air vent and it blew my whole thing back like a sail and it was tipped over this morning. So we're finding some workarounds here. We detached the top two tiers. There was nobody here. They didn't put anybody here because of the pole. So we got really, really freaking lucky because there was absolutely no way this was standing up today. It was never gonna happen in the in the spot that we're at so here we are with the booth set up i still need to fix this um it's leaning but this is still sort of swaying in the wind but it's gonna have to do because i've got literally nothing else i can do for it so it's just gonna sway today we've got some prints over here for attention the rest of the prints are laid out so we're now 100 percent self-serve and here's everything else so this is going to be our booth for the weekend i think we are 10 to 6 today and 11 to 5 tomorrow here we are back here our booth neighbor has a beautiful german shepherd of course because why don't we add to what we're doing a little bit Ooh, i just hit bubby oh with my foot that's not good he split one of his little nails all the way back to his paw so i trimmed it this morning but hopefully he's doing okay all right so we're just we're just swaying away just swaying and win and that oh tay and win uh, <laughs> if you're old enough to you know you know anyways all right that's gonna be it i'll check in with you later i've stabilized this as much as i can but look that's how much the wind is blowing. You can just see this sort of swaying back and forth. This is swaying. I attached this right here. So hopefully that's better. But yeah, we're just, we're just swaying. We're swaying in the wind here. Cause we're right up under, it's blowing straight down on us. So one thing we won't be this weekend is hot. All right, you guys. So it is incredibly, incredibly loud here. And Bubby's having a nervous day because of it. There is also a lovely, gorgeous German Shepherd beside of us who he keeps seeing. He's sort of calming down from it, but he's sort of not. Bless you. Um, I'm sitting here sketching. We're doing okay. We're not doing great, but we are doing okay. And I'm so thankful for people who are actually buying my stuff because, you know, I was nervous about just doing art. And I feel that if I was in Artist Alley, I may have a better chance, but I love that I'm so stretched out and people keep commenting on how cute the booth is. So I absolutely love that. Um, I'm just trying to keep Bubby calm and comfortable. It's so loud in here though. So I gave him some of his busy butter, but he's still feeling pretty nervous. He's also split one of his nails. I think I've said that already. He split one of his nails. His nails are so brittle. They've always been brittle because um, 
Well, they've been brittle since birth, and they break off and they chip, and sometimes they split. So I think he's got some some nerve endings that are somewhat exposed. Um, I trimmed it this morning to get it up off the floor, so we'll see what happens. But there's not a whole lot that I can do for him for that. So yeah, he's just having a little bit of an anxious, rough day, but it's going okay. It is. 15, so we're about halfway through the day here. North Carolina, I don't think it's doing well at all. I really don't. I wish it was. I don't know what the deal is there because obviously I'm not there, but it's just not doing great. And so I'm a little, I'm a little defeated about that, but I'm trying to be thankful for the sales that are coming in. I mean, we are making some money. It's just, it's, it's really few and far in between. And I just, I don't understand. Um, I mean, business is slower here, given the fact that it is one, just art, and two, I don't have my cups to pull people in. Um, so I've expected that, but I would still think that the QCAC would be a, so loud, would sort of be in the same sort of crowd size and maybe do about the same as we're doing here and it is really just not so it's been it's been a struggle there and i don't know why but anyways maybe i just they're not looking for what i have there so maybe it's not a good fit for me but i'm definitely going to consider that when i uh, think about what i'm going to apply for next year so we'll see how it goes Anyways, um, that's my little rant right now. I don't know if you're going to even be able to hear me over the stage, but it has been nonstop all day. They are so loud. Um, it is a very, very, very noisy calm. So even when he got upset or he saw the dog and he barked, you can't even hear him bark. It's so loud. Like, I can hear it because, you know, he's right here nobody else around me can hear the fact that he's barking because there's so the noise level is way too much I wish I had headphones uh, right now and I think I wish I would have brought his because he might have chilled out a little bit but he really doesn't like to wear them I need to find some other stuff no 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 you're fine you're fine don't even worry about it <laughs> so yeah, that's where we stand right now. We're having a rough day. You know I me. Mean? Here's Bubba. We're just having a rough day. It's my baby boy. Yeah, but I do think I do think that his nail is really really bothering him. So I don't know when he split it. I think he split it right before we came here. His poor little nails. I knew when I cut everybody's nails at the house, I just don't even have anything to cut on his because his are so brittle and they break and that's the way they've been since birth. It's part of his his specialness from being the runt and being the little last one that survived out of that litter. So in addition to the, the tongue only shooting out of one side of his face and and the brittle nails and the cloudy eye and the doofiness. You know, it's all part of this little package, and I love him. I just wish there was more that I could do for that exposed nerve ending. But we soldier through. We soldier through. I gotta go. Bye. All right, you guys. It is 5.05. We are having a day. It's not a great day, but it is a day. Um, we are having a worse day <laughs> in Charlotte. It's 505. I don't understand because I thought we were going to 6 today, but the people beside of me are literally packing up everything right now, and the people across from me are packing up. Am I stupid? I could be stupid. I could totally be dumb, but exhibitor details. I'm like, am I crazy? Am I the problem? Is it me? Let's see. Show hours. Show hours. Load in. Show time. Oh, no. Oh, we're done. Oh, we're done. It's 5. It's 5 o'clock today. It was 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. So, uh, I'm just dumb. 
and it is time to pack up. So that's what I'm going to do, and I'll talk to you when we get back to the hotel room. All right. Say what's up, guys. Say what's up, Bubba. Say what's up. I just got done feeding him. Been on the phone with Andy for a little while. Um, yeah, today's <laughs> today has not been a great day, but it's okay. We did a little less than we did last year, about like a couple hundred bucks. But last year we had a lot, a lot of plushies. Like we didn't have anything else um, or nothing on the art table really sold last year. So it was it was pretty much all plushies last year that that took it away. But we didn't do good. <laughs> we didn't do great. I'm probably going in the hole this weekend for the combined total but today's not over for her i think she's got about an hour and a half left today and then tomorrow for me is 11 to 5 and i think tomorrow from her for her is 9 to 4. um i could be reading that wrong but i have no idea so i'm just i'm so whooped i ordered me some pho i've never had it before i'm really excited about it i hope that i like it i ordered that in a spring roll crispy spring roll I just couldn't figure out what I wanted to eat for dinner. And uh, so that's what we ended up with. That's what I landed on. Uh, they have so many like um, different cuisines here that I just didn't want to try something basic because I don't get access to this stuff in, in small town. We don't have a bunch of different restaurants with a bunch of different kinds of cuisines from all over the world. So I wanted to, I wanted to have something that I don't normally have access to here anyways but yeah you know you win some you lose some honestly and this weekend has just not been it I think I told Andy I said I think the universe knows that we're about to get out from under this enormous enormous thing that we've been under for the past year and it's like well I see you I see you so here take all of this with it and everything that could go wrong has sort of gone wrong this weekend um, and that's my mother texting me so yeah it just is no it just hasn't been our weekend and that's okay it's okay I am super appreciative of the money that we did make yesterday and today I am super appreciative for any money that we make tomorrow and I'm gonna go home and just chalk that up to you know these may just not be the best cons for me i think it would have been a lot better had i only bought an artist alley table but when i purchased the booth i was planning on my eyes just itching away i was planning on having a full setup and with had i had my bitch be gone and the rest of my cups like i had originally wanted to this weekend I think that it would have been a lot different. I think that it would have been a lot different story, but you know, is what it is. It happens. It happens. Anyways, I don't have a whole lot to say because I just feel like I feel a little bit defeated because I wanted to, you know, contribute this weekend and I wanted to get us out from under that last two grand that we need to pay off this truck so that we could be in the clear of that and we could start building you know back up some savings or whatever and i don't think that i'm gonna get there <laughs> i just don't think that i'm gonna get there so i'm a, i'm having my pity party i'm gonna have some fluff for my pity party and i am going to just eat my feelings i'm gonna eat my feelings a little bit and then we're gonna get up in the morning and it's gonna be all groovy it's probably gonna rain tomorrow it's so cloudy today but Anyway, I'm going to have my pity party. I'm going to go eat my feelings. It's going to be great. We're going to have a great day tomorrow. We're going to sell out tomorrow. We're going to sell out tomorrow because, I mean, yeah, we're going to manifest it. If if the universe is listening, we're going to manifest this shit, okay? We're going to sell out tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be the big day. It's going to be great. It's going to be fucking awesome. It's going to be great. Tomorrow is going to be great. Okay, I got it. I manifested it. It's out there. <laughs> Take that, universe. Take that. Um, I'm going to go wait on my food. Yeah, I'm going to do that.
All right, you guys, if you are Vietnamese, please do not come at me for the way that I'm eating this because I'm completely ignorant as to how I'm supposed to eat it. So it came in this, and then it had all these little sprouty dudes and these leafy dudes in a separate bag. It had the broth in a separate container. I had extra noodles, so they're in there. And then the spring roll, I already ate one of them, is off the chain. And whatever this like oily dip is super good I cannot tell what this is specifically but it's it's very sweet and maybe maybe a hint of ginger like it's gingery sort of I'm trying to think of what I could possibly call it and there's an aromatic in the broth that I'm not used to and I don't know what the broth is made out of but yeah, don't come at me for the way that I'm eating this with my fork um, and my knife because I can't use chopsticks. I'm so sorry. So scream, scream into the cam or into the screen now because, yeah. Anyways, so I just put some of the broth down in with all of this stuff, and dude, I'm I'm picking out. It's super good. It really is. That spring roll, awesome. Oh. And this is really, really good. I just don't know what I'm eating exactly. Like, I don't know what the aromatic in the broth is to make that broth. It's not, it's not like a flavor that I'm used to or a smell that I'm used to. And so, I'm not 100% sure. That has also got some heat. That dip back there, or that sauce back there, has got some heat to it on the back end. And so does this little crunchy thing. Yo, I'm so sorry. I'm so ignorant. I don't know what this little crunchy dude is. Um, but he's spicy. He's spicy too. But I like the little, I like the little sprout thingies. And he smells minty. I have no idea what I'm eating, you guys. He smells very, very, um, he, he, he smells, um, he smells minty. I don't know what it is. But, um, yeah, I can't complain, uh, even though I know that y'all are going to be complaining about how I ate this. So, I'm so sorry, but it's really good. It's really good, and I'm going to eat more of it now. All right, you guys. It is 1025, and we are all set up now, ready to go. Bubba is tangling himself up. Give me just a second. All right. Bubba's tangling himself up. Hopefully, he'll lay down here in just a moment. Probably not, but we're hoping so. We have the German Shepherd right next to us again today, but so far so good. He hasn't seen him. Uh, he saw him in the parking lot and he he went, oof, but that's all I got out of him, so that's good. And then I redirected him and we were not focused on him anymore, which is good. So I was rewarding that behavior. So today he hasn't seen him next door. We'll see what happens as the day goes on. Um, there's not a whole lot to say. Nothing has changed about the booth. I just got the um, claw machine restocked up. I got all the prints back out that were laying across the table. We're still 100% self-serve. So that's that's been working out. More people are picking up the large prints, seeing as though they are self-serve. So I don't know how I can incorporate that into like a regular size table. It's not going to happen um, in a booth. It may may or may not happen it just depends on what all i'm bringing to a specific convention so we'll see how that goes um not expecting a whole lot out of today i did do the numbers and i think with the amount that we made yesterday we broke even with the cost of hotel great given that i get the refund that i'm supposed to get from the hotel that turned us away which i don't even know if i told you did I tell you that? Okay, so we went to check into our hotel and they were like, um, they weren't a pet friendly hotel, which they didn't say anything about when I made the booking or whatever. There's a big no pets allowed sign on the door. I may have told this story and if I did, I'll cut this out. But I would go inside and I said, I see that you're no pets, but I have a service animal. She's like, oh, okay. So that's not gonna be a problem, right? No, is your, is your dog ADA registered? I said, you know that that's not a thing, right? That's not a requirement of a service dog. It's, I mean, just a way to rip people off of their money because anybody can fill out that form and pay $200, $250 and say, oh, he's a service animal. That's how that works. I mean, so it's just a scam. 
still, that's our policy. That is our policy. They have to be ADA registered. I'm like, you're going against federal law. Federal law does not, your, your, poli your policy does not supersede federal law. So, yeah, I don't know what the fuck that was about, but I was livid. I, I didn't even want to talk to her anymore. I'm like, just, I want my money back. I want my refund. She said, given the situation and that you didn't try to bring him in and hide him, why the fuck would I hide him? Who hides a dog in a no pet hotel? How are you not going to notice me walking in and out of the door with a four legged animal? Who would do that? Who would try to hide it anyways? So she says, I don't see any reason why they wouldn't give you a refund. Well, I'm going to be on the phone with them tomorrow making sure that I get my refund because there was apparently no manager for the entirety of the weekend, which is stupid because isn't that your busiest time? Why wouldn't you have a manager in your busiest part of the week? Anyways, I digress. But anyway, we got over to the new hotel. So supposing I get my refund like I'm supposed to, we broke even with hotel cost and table cost yesterday so basically today i'm just covering my gas and as soon as i cover my gas to and from which is about fifty dollars here just under fifty dollars here and will be probably about forty dollars back we'll be good so if i make a hundred dollars today we're in the green i don't foresee a problem but sundays are always a little bit slower than saturdays with the occasional upset uh, exception so maybe we're having an exception today. Today would be a lovely day to have an exception. I think over at QCAC, she's pretty much made back cost of her hotel and the booth. I still have to cover her pay. Yeah, I still have to cover her pay for the weekend and I need to have some kind of green. They started at 9 this morning. They were open 9 to 4. So they've been open for an hour and a half. And she's made two sales. It is still early in the morning. Hopefully that changes because they weren't exactly large sales. I mean, she's just there with the art booth, same as me. One order was for $10 and one was for $4.29. So, yeah. So $14 because the rest was sale tax. Anyway, this weekend is just not going great. It's just one of those things. It happens. We will be in the green for this weekend. I, I don't foresee any reason why I won't be in the green for this weekend. But in the green and worth it is another story. And I just don't think that it's going to be worth it for that. Um, I may do one or the other of these uh, cons next year if I don't have anything to fill this gap. Or I may just not. It's it's really not not worth the hassle to drive to Virginia. QCAC is a little bit different. It's a lot closer, so it might be worth it, but I'm not 100% sure. So probably not. Anyways, that was just the update from this morning. That's all I know for now. He's looking at stuff, so I'm going to redirect him, and I will check in with you later on today. All right, well, what's up, guys? It is time to go over the analytics and the review of the two conventions that we did this past weekend and how they went. <laughs> so the first one I'm going to talk about is Queen City Anime Con. I don't have a whole lot to say about this convention strictly because I was not there. I had a proxy. Karen from So Endearing was my proxy for this event and while I could monitor the transactions that were going on because Shopify dings my phone every time a transaction is made which can be a little annoying but also hearing the chiching I don't mind it. Hearing the chiching makes me do a little happy dance inside and probably outside each time so I'm good with it. But yeah Queen City Anime Con was a mess. It was a mess. According to my sources being the rumor mill, so take it with a grain of salt, they changed management. It was not managed properly. Someone was put with a double booth, I guess, in front of a fire exit and they chose, I mean, so it's it's on both parties. Uh, they chose to go ahead and set up their full booth in front of the fire exit, which is, you know, not cool. And the fire marshal came in and shut the vendor hall down. 
So for a couple hours, the vendor hall was shut down with the fire marshal and was about to be shut down completely by the fire marshal, fire marshal but they eventually got it back up around two, two o'clock or so. I think the first sale that we made was three o'clock. There was some other confusion about where everything was going in. So it was just not great on Friday. Saturday was, it was still slow. The, the entire event was extremely slow. The crowds were not exactly popping. And so therefore we did not make back our money for quite some time. And for paying $500 for a booth at this event, it was not worth it. We did end up making our cost back, which is fine. I did make enough back to um, also cover my proxies um, pay. I covered enough to cover their hotel. I covered enough to get my booth fee back. So all in all, it was still in the green by a couple hundred dollars, but <clears throat> literally a couple hundred, I think, maybe right around there. So not worth it. I definitely do not think that I would be doing that convention again at all. I, I, I just really can't think that I would do this convention again. We'll see how it goes and what I have on my ticket for next year around this time and I may decide to do one or the other. I think a big factor in why we might not have done quite as well as I had no cups at either one of these conventions. My cups did not come in time due to the fact that my credit card got dinged twice for my order of cups instead of once when they put the hold on it and so it didn't clear because I didn't have enough to buy double the amount of cups that I was going to buy. I had enough to buy the amount of cups that I was trying to buy. So Anyways, that delayed literally everything. I had zero cups at either one of these shows and they're a big ticket item for me. Moving on to Fairfax. Fairfax was also a disaster. Um, we had fairly good placement, I think. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. I mean, we were up toward the front, if you want to call it that. We were towards the front of the actual hall itself. However, I was directly under an air conditioning vent, which you can see throughout this video and just how much it was blowing down on me. I was freezing cold the entire time because that air hardly ever shut off. I was also on the side of the hall that had the stage. And when I say the decibel levels were extreme over there I mean it I mean it and I feel bad for the people who were directly across from the stage because it is the loudest convention I have ever been to in my life not only were they in the microphones very loud but they were screaming into the microphones in some sections of the event and it was it was piercing it was really loud at so loud that you couldn't hear Bubba bark once, like over the decibel levels that were already going on around the area. Bubby barked at the German Shepherd beside of us and no one could hear him bark except me. I mean, I, I was literally standing next to him, but the people on the other side of the table had no idea that there was a dog under there. That's how loud it was. So that was poorly planned. Um, my, my vote is if you're going to scream, scream. If you're going to use the microphone, use the microphone. But do not scream into the microphone. That was too much. So it was, it was not good. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Hi. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Okay, get down. Down, down, down. Moving on. The crowd, this was a two-day show. A Queen City Anime Con was a three-day show. So Saturday was not good. <laughs> it was better than Queen City, but it was not good. Uh, the crowds just weren't there. And so Sunday, we only did about half of that. We did make our cost back here. We did make a couple hundred in the green here, but that was again about it. 
This is the second year that Fairfax has fallen short for me. I don't think that I would do this again either. Do I think that it would have been different if I had had my cups? I didn't have my Bitch Beyonds and my new cups, obviously, last year where cups did sell a little bit for me. And I think that I would have done better had I had my cups. But yeah, the crowds just weren't there again. Last year, I sold nothing but plushies. This year, I was selling my art. But the amount of money spent last year on plushies and the amount spent on art this year were pretty much the same. So again, this is the second year that this show in particular has flopped for me. And I just, yeah, it's just not the one to be at, I don't think. It's a four and a half hour drive for me. And yeah, I just don't, I don't think it's worth it. So I gave it a second chance. Would I give it a third if I had my cups? I may try it again if I don't have something better to fill that weekend next year, but I definitely wouldn't do two in one weekend. I will say that I found a great proxy for Queen City. She knew what she was doing because she does conventions as well. She just happened to have that weekend open because she was trying to get into Queen City as well. So she was able to feel and everything about the proxy experience for me ran perfectly smooth she was there watching me set up on the day zero for that. She took everything over for the three-day convention. Everything was perfectly smooth. So I can't say anything negative about my proxy experience. It's just that the crowds weren't there. They weren't, you know, they weren't buying and neither were they. They weren't either where I was. She, she almost outsold me on Sunday. She was racking up the the money on Sunday in comparison to what I was doing and they had a slightly longer day. It took me until the very end to catch up to what she did and surpass it just a little bit. But I mean, I think I only beat her by like 20, 20 bucks or so by the end of the day on Sunday, but neither one of us really made any actual money on Sunday. Um, in comparison to what we normally do, we probably made somewhere about oh, uh, a third, like a third, if not a little bit less than a third of what I do on a normal Sunday at a convention. So yeah, when I say it was not good, I mean, I don't, we did not hit the 1000 mark on any day. Um, I, we barely hit the 1000 mark on Saturday between the two of us. So if that tells you how bad these two conventions went, uh, it was, it was bad, bad. So yeah, definitely reconsidering putting those on my ticket at all. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens next year. I will definitely have cups next year. We will definitely plan better for that. And I won't be pushed for time, but Otakon really did suck up all my cups, which is fine by me. And hopefully we get into that again next year and we just don't have to worry about these smaller shows for the month of August. Um, that will carry us through. So we'll see how it goes. But anyways, that's pretty much it. That is pretty much how this, how this set of conventions went. I don't have another convention on my book until... November at the moment. October if I choose to do Fayetteville again, but I really, I don't know. Fayetteville in the spring left such a bad taste in my mouth. I just really don't know. So I think I may not do it. I may not do it, which is a little bit scary for me because that's going to be a couple of months where I don't have anything at all on my books. And I have applied to a couple of things for the back half of the year, but We'll see how that shakes out because I really don't know at the moment. I am waitlisted for a few things. I've got a couple of applications in that they haven't approved, waitlisted, or denied yet. So we're still waiting on the actual list to come out for those events. So yeah, right now I have North Carolina Comic Con in November and I have Galaxy Con Columbus in December. I am also... I also have a hall mat application in for December, which they haven't decided on yet. So that's where we stand on that. I am waitlisted for a couple of cons and hopefully if I do get off the waitlist, it gives me a couple of days notice at the least so that I can plan for that. But I'm going to be stocking up for a couple of different reasons on 
just about everything. I'm going to have to stockpile over the like winter season to get ready for March next year because if you were here with me earlier in this year, March was the busiest month that I have on my book and that is not changing in, <laughs> in 2025. There are five weekends in March and I have four booked. I have four of those books. The only weekend right now that doesn't have anything scheduled for it is the weekend of my birthday and we don't know what Coastal is doing. Coastal Comic Con was a first year this past March and it was run by the people who run Soda City Comic Con and it was so well put together and it was such a good show for us and I really want to do that again next year but it would have to fall on my birthday weekend in order to make that happen or it would have to fall just before March because I have the rest of March completely booked. We have several large shows, large shows, not small shows, booked in March. And I have to be ready for that with everything that I want to take with me. So it's going to be, it's going to be a busy freaking month for me. That is for sure. We'll also be traveling the furthest I've traveled so far um, and going to Kansas City, Kansas City, Missouri for Planet Comic Con, which I have to pay for by the end of this month. And it's a steep one. So yeah, I have got to get ready for that. We're doing Lexington Comic and Toy Show. We are doing Galaxy Con Richmond. We are doing... Uh, Planet City or Planet Comic Con and da, 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 da. let's see. Okay, I've got three of five booked. Okay, so yeah, we're doing um, Lexington Comic and Toy. We are doing Galaxy Con Richmond. Um, Galaxy Con Richmond. We are doing Planet Comic Con Kansas City. And there is something else in March that I have blocked off here, and I don't know what it is. Oh no, okay, that's Galaxy Con Richmond. So if Coastal Comic Con is on the first weekend of March or the weekend of my birthday, then we can do it. And this past March, it was the first weekend in March. So fingers crossed that they'll do the same thing this coming year. They haven't announced the dates yet, but they are going to be doing it. So hopefully that is the weekend that it falls on and that will be four out of the five weekends. So anywho, if you want to know all of the updates, all of the if you would like to be in on all of the information as it comes out and be up to date on literally everything I do, please consider joining my Patreon. You can join as a free member. That is where everything happens. I post on Patreon more than I post anywhere else, including social media. And that is where everything happens. If you want the new patterns that are coming out, if you want the new stickers that are coming out, if you want any of the new stuff at incredible discounts, or you want the new patterns, or you want anything, everything gets released there first, and then it goes off into the shop afterwards. So usually about a month after my patrons get it, everybody else gets it. So do join the Patreon if you want to. You can get the patterns for $7 a month. You can get into the vault, which has all the extra patterns in it for $10 a month, and then the sticker and Happy Meal tiers start at 10 and go up to, or start at 15 and go up to $30 per month, but you can join as a free member and get all of the updates as well. That is where I list everything that I'm doing and you get to vote in polls and everything. So if you are interested in being part of our community, do jump over to Patreon as a free or paid member. Anyways, it really helps a lot. Um, it really helps a, a lot each and every month and you get a lot in return. So it's, it's growing and I'm so excited that it continues to grow. So thank you so much. If you have joined my Patreon, I appreciate you so much. You have no idea. And I enjoy all of the little conversations back and forth that we have. Anyway, I think that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Do not forget to subscribe, hit the little thumbs up button, please. And drop a comment let's drop a bomb drop a bomb down in the comment section for these two bombed shows <laughs> drop some explosions and some bombs down in the comments and i will see you guys in the next video i love your faces so much thank you for being here i love you i love you i love you goodbye